Interstitial cystitis, I see. If you've been in a situation where you had to hold in your pee for long hours till you got home, then you might understand what it's like to have interstitial cystitis. Except in this case, you desperately feel the need to pee every 10 to 20 minutes, day and night, without relief, even when your bladder is practically empty. And each time you try to pee instead of getting relief, you get an intense, burning, stabbing pain. The pressure builds up quickly, and despite frequent trips to the toilet, the sensation of incomplete emptying persists, leaving you constantly uncomfortable and frustrated. It's like having a raw open wound inside your bladder, one that stings and burns relentlessly. Every drop of urine passing over this raw area feels like pouring salt on a fresh cut, causing an intense, searing pain that can bring tears to your eyes. This condition may feel like a bladder or urinary tract infection, but research has shown that there is actually no infection. However, some scientists have the idea that it could be caused by an insanely sensitive lining, an autoimmune issue, or just a reaction from something you ate. The pain can be so severe that it interferes with daily activities, making it difficult to sit, stand, or walk for extended periods. It can also disrupt sleep, leading to chronic fatigue, and affecting mental health. There is no cure for IC, but if you are among the 35 to 40 million people suffering from it, treatments like pain meds, calming bladder installations, physical therapy, and dietary changes can help provide some relief to the pain. Pancreatitis. Finally, your favorite high school couple were getting married, and it is honestly the wedding of the year. There's seafood, pastries, wine, small chops, literally an all-you-can-eat buffet. So you do justice to everything there and pile your plate high with food. But just as you settle down to dig in, you are bombarded with a savage, gut-wrenching pain that feels like someone is tying your large and small intestines together. It feels like a wrecking ball is repeatedly getting slammed into your abdomen just below your rib cage. And just when you think it couldn't get any worse, the pain spreads to your back, making it feel as though your entire torso is being squeezed by a vice. This, my friends, is a disease known as pancreatitis. It is caused because your pancreas, which produces digestive enzymes, has gone full-on haywire, and instead of calmly releasing its juices to break down food, it has essentially started violently digesting itself from the inside out. Those powerful enzymes, usually focused outward, are leaking and causing intense inflammation and destruction of the pancreas and surrounding tissues. It's a gruesome case of your own stomach's toxins turning against you. Every breath you take can feel like shards of glass slicing through your insides, and even the slightest movement can multiply the agony, sending waves of sharp, debilitating pain that can leave you breathless and immobilized. Breathing too deeply is agonizing, and eating is entirely out of the question as your body is on full-on self-attack mode. This torment is often accompanied by severe nausea and vomiting, which only adds to the overall misery, because the constant heaving and retching would add another layer of torment to an already unbearable experience. The pain of pancreatitis can be relentless, lasting for days on end with no relief in sight, and even strong painkillers may only dull the edge of the agony, leaving a persistent, gnawing pain that saps your strength and will. Try Geminal Neuralgia. You're finally free of the toxic X, so you decide to celebrate by going to one of the best steakhouses in town. You know, treat yourself to some delicious steak and expensive Italian wine as you look forward to the next phase of your life. However, halfway into enjoying your meal, you suddenly feel a sharp pain shoot along the left side of your face out of nowhere. Just picture sudden electric shock like jolts of pain shooting through your face that would literally feel like someone took a hot knife and stabbed you in the face. This condition is called trigeminal neuralgia and is triggered when your artery or vein presses on the nerve responsible for transmitting sensation from your face to your brain. The compression of the vein often rubs away the protective layers of the nerve, leading to intense, sharp pain. You'd immediately be rushed to the nearest hospital and after examination, you'd be diagnosed with trigeminal neuralgia. This rare chronic pain condition affects the trigeminal nerve, which is a large nerve in the head that is responsible for sensations in the face. The relentless throbbing torment can radiate from the jaw to the cheek and around the eye, making everyday activities like chewing, talking, or even smiling a nightmare. The attacks of pain can last from a few seconds to a couple of minutes, which makes getting smacked in the mouth with a dodgeball seem like a relaxing day at the spa. This severe facial pain affects around one 
one in every 15,000 to 20,000 people each year, with the majority of the patients being over 50 years old. Although trigeminal neuralgia cannot be cured, medications, injections, and surgery can help provide relief and give you back a little normalcy. Gout. This painful condition is basically what happens when your body decides to transform into an overzealous gemstone factory. But instead of churning out dazzling diamonds, razor-sharp crystals take form in your joints and soft tissues. It begins with uric acid levels getting a bit too high in your bloodstream, so instead of getting filtered out properly, the excess acid starts accumulating and hardening into tiny little crystal deposits, which accumulate in special parts of your body like your big toe, ankle, or knee. With each of these tiny crystal deposits, you will feel like there's a microscopic drill burrowing deeper and deeper into your skeleton's connection points, as if your joint is being tightly squeezed in a vice while simultaneously being set on fire. The affected joint becomes red, swollen, and extremely tender to the touch. Even the lightest pressure, such as a bed sheet brushing against it, can cause excruciating pain. The skin over the joint may appear stretched and shiny, throbbing with each heartbeat, adding to the relentless, pulsating discomfort. The cause of gout could be eating food with too much uric acid, or your kidneys are just lazy at doing their filtration job properly. Either way, you're left toughing out Mother Nature's version of a mineral extraction gone horribly wrong. Experiencing a painful disease can really slow down your quality of life, but not joining our Discord server is another way to do so. Join up now to get exclusive updates on every piece of information you need. Throat Cancer For the past 45 years, you've been what people popularly call a chain smoker. You smoke everything from tobacco to cigarettes and weed, and the only major problem you've ever experienced was a mild sore throat. However, one day, you wake up feeling you swallowed shards of tiny glass the night before, but you just think it's nothing serious considering your normal habits. So you head to the local pharmacy, get some cough and throat syrup, and call it a day. However, after two weeks, swallowing food and liquids becomes increasingly difficult, with each swallow feeling like sandpaper scraping against raw and flamed tissue. In addition to this, your neck has become very swollen, and when you open your mouth, you can see red sores and white patches at the back of your throat. At the hospital, the doctor tells you that you have throat cancer due to many years of heavy smoking, which has irritated and mutated your cells and has caused painful tumors and lesions to form in your throat and tonsils. In the advanced stages, the pain can become unbearable. Breathing itself can turn into a struggle with each breath scraping past swollen, ulcerated tissues. The sensation is akin to breathing through a tube lined with razors. The throat can become so tender that even the softest foods cause intense pain, leading to weight loss and malnutrition due to the inability to eat properly. Severe, sharp, and shooting pains might radiate from the throat to the ears and even to the back of the head. Over 200,000 new cases of throat cancer are diagnosed each year, and the five-year survival rate is only around 65%. Stomach ulcers. Imagine you're enjoying a delightful dinner at your favorite restaurant. The ambiance is perfect, the food smells divine, and then BAM! It feels like someone just invited a tiny flamethrower to have a party in your stomach. At first, it might feel like a slight discomfort, a gentle reminder that your stomach is there. But then the whispers turn into a roar like an angry T-Rex demanding more attention. This situation happens because the special lining that protects your stomach from the harsh stomach acid has become damaged by bacteria known as H. pylori. Once this happens, instead of the acid leaving, it sips directly into your stomach and feeds off its contents. It's like scraping your knee really badly, except the scrape is happening inside your stomach where you can't see it, and instead of blood, acid is poured directly into your abdomen. The pain itself is no joke, though. Imagine a tiny goblin with a miniature jackhammer going to town on your stomach line. Sometimes it's a dull, persistent ache, like that friend who won't stop talking about about their latest diet. Other times, it's a sharp stabbing pain as if that same goblin decided to switch to a sword fighting career. However, these stomach ulcers can be completely cured by taking medications that will reduce stomach acid and antibiotics to kill the bacteria. You will also need to avoid irritating foods and rest your stomach as much as possible while the lining repairs itself. Coccidinia or tailbone pain. This particular condition makes you weirdly aware of your tailbone, which is a part of your anatomy you probably never thought about until it became a screaming, nagging child begging for attention. This normally starts because of an inflammation of the bony little spur at the bottom of your vertebra called the tailbone. The pain can be triggered by something as simple as 
sitting too long or, more traumatically, from a backward fall right onto your tailbone. In either case, the surrounding tendons, muscles, and nerves all become very irritated and hypersensitive. Every shift in position sends new shock waves of stabbing, burning sensations reverberating through your backside. The dull ache may let up for a bit, providing a fragile sense of relief, only to return with furious intensity at the slightest provocation. You see, simple activities like getting out of a chair, stepping into a car, or even merely passing gas can spike that vengeful tailbone discomfort up to unbearable levels. It really is the most literal pain in the butt one can experience. Coccidinia doesn't discriminate either. It can inflict its merciless misery on anyone from long-haul truckers to new moms who endured a rough vaginal delivery. All it takes is one hasty impact or excessive sitting to ignite that ring of fiery torture centered on your poor coccyx. Sickle cell anemia. It's finally time to go on that big family road trip your parents promised two months ago. As you guys hit the road, you spend the first few hours happily staring out the window, watching the scenery roll by in wide-eyed wonderment. But then out of nowhere, you're hit with an abrupt throbbing ache settling deep into your bones. At first, it starts as just a dull ache in your arms and legs. But within minutes, the aching pain intensifies dramatically, spreading like scorching wildfire throughout your body. Every single nerve feels like it's been soaked in gasoline and set ablaze. Your bones themselves take on a torturous, grinding ache as if they're being tightly compressed from every angle in a cruel, bone-crushing device. You cry out in agony, doubling over as wave after wave of searing pain methodically washes over you. This is a sickle cell crisis, when the normally pliable red blood cells deform into rigid, sickle-like shapes that get stuck in blood vessels blocking oxygen flow to tissues. It triggers astonishingly intense pain episodes that can last for days or even weeks at a time. As the crisis escalates, you find yourself being rushed to the hospital, body drenched in sweat from the relentless throbbing. Even gulping down liquid morphine provides just momentary fleeting relief from the ever-present anguish ravaging your frame. Now, sickle cell anemia is an inherited disease that can turn a routine childhood experience into sheer torment at the drop of a hat. Its unpredictable pain episodes are so devastatingly severe that they've been coined some of the most excruciating known to modern medicine. This condition affects about 20 million people worldwide, and the only cure for the disease is either a stem cell or bone marrow transplant, but they are rarely done because of the significant risks involved. Ischemic colitis. Ischemic colitis is a condition where part of the large intestine doesn't get enough blood supply, leading to inflammation and damage to the tissues. To truly understand how painful this condition is, you should just imagine if you open up your stomach and poured hot lava inside and then sewed it back up. As the inflammation worsens, the pain becomes constant, throbbing like a relentless drumbeat in your lower abdomen. It's not just uncomfortable, it's debilitating, making it difficult to concentrate on anything else. It's as if your body is sounding an alarm signaling that something is seriously wrong inside. Alongside the pain, you might experience bloating and a sense of fullness even if you haven't eaten much. Your abdomen might feel tender to the touch, as if any pressure only increases the discomfort. It's a visceral reminder that your digestive system is under attack. The pain tends to be often centered on the left side or lower part of your abdomen, where the affected portion of the colon is located, but it can also cause discomfort in your back or pelvis, further complicating your ability to find a comfortable position. Imagine trying to eat or drink while feeling like your insides are tied up in knots. Even the thought of food can trigger waves of pain, making you hesitant to consume anything for for fear of aggravating the symptoms. As ischemic colitis progresses, symptoms can worsen, potentially leading to bloody stools, diarrhea, or even fever if infection sets in. Each of these symptoms adds to the overall discomfort and anxiety as your body struggles to cope with the compromised blood flow to your colon. Meningitis. The brain and the spinal cord are unarguably two of the most important parts of your body. So you can already imagine the kind of pain you would be in if something were to happen to your brain or spinal cord. Well, don't think too far because meningitis is an infectious disease that basically attacks and destroys the membranes surrounding your brain and spinal cord. Picture this. You wake up one morning with an excruciating headache that feels like your skull is being banged with Thor's hammer. The headache is also 
accompanied by sensitivity to light and sound, and every movement of your head sends waves of pain coursing through your entire body. However, this is just the opening act, because as the infection spreads, you'll develop very high fever with extreme chills and sweat that seems like your body can't just decide which temperature it wants to be on. The fever is basically your body's battle cry, signaling a fierce fight against the invading pathogens, and if you ignore this cry, well, nausea and excessive vomiting would quickly follow. You'll also develop stiffness in your neck, and acts like tilting or turning your head and neck practically becomes impossible. This stiffness, known as nuchal rigidity, is a hallmark sign of meningitis and reflects the inflammation spreading to the spinal cord. Confusion and altered mental status can also occur, especially in severe cases where the infection affects the brain. You might find it hard to concentrate, experience disorientation, or even slip into unconsciousness as the inflammation disrupts normal brain function. Thank <laughs> you.